I, just for the record, um, I am pro-vaccination. I've had every vaccination there is, including the HPV vaccination. I've had, you know, I've, I've never had any childhood diseases um, because of vaccinations. Um, because I always had my vaccinations, at least. I, I give my mum that much credit, kudos to my mum at least, always making sure I had all my vaccinations. And I made sure to get the HPV vaccination when it came out. Um, and I made to, sure to have all the follow-up shots and everything. I've always been pro a, pro vaccination. Um, I am not racist. And yes, I will use the qualifier that everybody my age uses. I have friends and I've had friends and lovers of different ethnicities and different religions. The reason why people like me feel the need to use that qualifier is because well, if I was actually racist, all my friends would be white. All my friends would be, uh, I don't know even what to call myself spiritually because I'm a spiritual person, not religious. I've, I'm read and learned about every religion there is. I'm just starting to learn about Islam, but um yeah um because i just i really hadn't i can't believe it i couldn't believe that there was i'll be honest um it wasn't until 9 11 that i even heard of that religion um so i was actually surprised that there was a religion i hadn't heard of um so yeah i like to i do religious studies just for the fun of it um because it's like <laughs> it's like a meme i re read recently said it's it was funny um it said um, what do atheists um, read to reaffirm their beliefs? Same thing as the Christians, the Bible, <laughs> or any other religious text. I like to pick and choose what I believe in. So I've recently come to the realization that my beliefs are more in line with Hinduism, Taoism, Buddhism, you know, um, with a dash of Christianity mixed in and um, yeah, I like to incorporate all beliefs into my belief system, if that makes sense. That's why I consider myself more spiritual than religious, because I, I don't like organized religion. I don't like going to church. Um, I'd rather be, uh, I'm, I was raised in the Anglican faith. Um, my dad was Catholic but a lapsed Catholic, so I was raised Anglican, and, you know, so yes, a lot of my beliefs are Christian-based, but, um, yeah, I have a lot more, you know, Hindu, Buddhism, Taoism leanings than anything else, um, and Wiccan, Pagan, you know, leanings, I think it makes more sense that there'd be gods and goddesses, which are known as deities. I can't believe so many people don't even realize that the, the word deities means gods and goddesses, you know. It's like, wow, people have become so ignorant, you know. You don't know, how have you not heard of the word deity, you know. Yes, I believe in a higher power, whether that's male or female, I don't really know. Um, so yeah, sometimes I'm, well, generally I'm often misunderstood, misconstrued, um, because people don't, who don't really know me, don't really understand me, and yeah, I may some, say something that may seem racist, um, or sexist, <laughs> because yeah, I was raised by two feminist parents, um, and, um, so often I've often felt like it's me against the world because I'm LGBTQI friendly because I'm a little queer myself. Um, I have been in, um, I've been a little bit bisexual, but I, I guess I'm, I don't know, queer with a little bit of bisexual curiosity. Um, I'm very open-minded. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm open-minded, I'm conscientious, I'm respectful, polite, honest, and I think it comes down to the fact that I'm too honest, that I tend to hum out with brutal honesty, 
um, people find that offensive these days because our speech has become so limited we don't have free speech anymore and that saddens me you know and it's like it saddens a lot of people like you can't even make a joke these days without somebody getting offended you know um i have a wicked sense of humor a sick sense of humor sometimes um but uh, you know I don't understand why people want to always misjudge me, you know, people want to judge me from because they don't understand my perspective. I'm uh, perceived as a white woman even though I'm fourth generation Aboriginal, um, so, yeah, on my dad's side, I'm, as far as I know, I'm fourth generation Aboriginal. Um, I, and it's like, you don't, if you don't know me, then don't judge me. My beliefs are my belief. My life is my life. How dare you judge me by how many people I've slept with? How dare you judge me because I might say the wrong thing? I may not be the most PC friendly person on the earth, but I am, I try, at least I try to be a good person. At least I try to be friendly. At least I try to be nice most of the time, at least I try to be polite, at least I try to be respectful most of the time of others and their beliefs and their culture. Um, I have great respect for 